Hello sheeple, I'm the government and I hate you. Proof that I'm the government is this official government gold hat. It's got this crest on it so let, let there be no questioning of my credentials. It's obviously completely real. Now, let's talk about your right to protest. Protest is not just a right, it's an actually a moral duty. But this is inconvenient for me. So I'm going to implement some absurd rules and pretend they're necessary and trash your right to object. Uh, insolent, I mean, insolent little maggots like you shouldn't even have the illusion of freedom. You're so inferior. I mean, you shouldn't even be on the same planet. So you want to protest. These are the rules. First of all, you need my permission. You want to protest, you've got to ask me if you can even do that. Protests on certain subjects like the Smacks Abomination, uh, Oven Planet, uh, any of the current genocides that we're doing right now, they're off limits. I'm not talking to you about those. I'm not discussing these kind of, these are big boys topics. I'm not discussing these with you. <laughs> Get out of it. Um, now, I'm going to start implementing these rules with like pussy countries like, like France or Germany. And uh, soon I'll, you know, I'll go from there to implement them worldwide. It's pretty much a one world government already. So I'll just start off there. I'll get these rules all around the world. Even talks on certain agendas, let alone protests, forget it. They'll land your ass in jail. Even if your doctor advises you on something they believe is in your best interests, like, you know, like what they're supposed to. But if I disagree, woe betide them. I will throw their honorable yet disobedient ass in jail. So they're literally not even allowed to look out for you. Protesting is always best, therefore, somewhere like, um, say, the middle of the Gobi Desert. Uh, bring a uh, water, but preferably don't. Make sure you have thoroughly researched your facts before protesting, but using government-approved sources like the mainstream media or Google God. Uh, while protesting, make sure you're careful about using terms uh, like... Uh, boy or girl. These are hateful terms. What the hell would an idiot like you know about sex or gender? I think I'll um, throw out a law that any information that you post online or anywhere that I deem to be misinformation, even if it isn't, will get your ass jailed. And after I pass this law, I've decided that any misinformation, i.e. stuff that I don't like, that you've posted even before this law came into effect, will still land your ass in jail. Think I'm joking? You gotta remember, I'm the government. I don't like jokes. I don't like fun. I like pain. And last, but certainly not least, after I've lovingly considered all your pathetic moronic concerns, you need to arrive at a government-approved conclusion. A government-approved acceptable conclusion that's independently fact-checked, which I hope you don't believe, independently fact-checked. Failure to achieve this is illegal and your ass is mine. The moonlight fades with the morning glow. Be good. Goodbye, pathetic sheeple.